Hello, I'm Quad Laser. Last week I did a video explaining how to set up your Ableton Live so that you could run it through OBS to stream to Twitch. If you're looking for the video in question, you can click on it right up here in the corner. It's come to my attention that I may have sort of overlooked a couple things that could get in the way of your setup process, especially if you're using a 64-bit version of Ableton, which I'm sure a lot of you are. So I want to go over those steps real quick and make sure that the corrections are in place so that you can get going as quickly as possible. All right, let's get at it. Okay, issue number one that people are having is that when they go into preferences for Ableton Live to select their audio device, Jack Router isn't showing up here. And that's important. This isn't going to work if Jack Router isn't here. So what that means is you're probably running a 64-bit version of Ableton Live. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. Just follow these steps. What you want to do is click on your start menu and just start typing in CMD. This is short for command prompt. What you want to do is go over here and hit run as administrator. If you're on an older version of Windows, you can probably right click on it and hit run as administrator. Once you're in the command prompt, you're gonna type in one command that's gonna register the 64-bit version of Jack with your computer. The command is R-E-G-S-V-R 32, space bar, quotation mark, C colon backslash, program files x86, slash Jack, slash 64 bits, slash Jack router dot DLL and quotation mark. Now make sure you got all the capitalization and the spaces correct. Go ahead and check out what I've got here and make sure you got that. Hit enter and you should see this message that says DLL register server succeeded. Click OK and then restart all of Jack, Jack CTL, uh, voice meter and Ableton Live like you normally would if you were getting going with this. Once you're back in Ableton Live you should be able to open up your preferences look at your audio device and see that Jack Router is now available. Problem number two is that sometimes when people click on Jack Router, they get a message that says this device can't be opened or this device is unavailable. The fix for that is actually really simple. What you want to do is go back through the process of opening the Jack D shortcut that we created earlier and the QJack CTL as administrator. So what you'll do is you'll right click on jackd.exe and uh, click down here where it says run as administrator and then you'll do the same thing for QJack CTL. Right click, click on run as administrator. The process remains the same other than that. Just make sure the programs are running as administrator and you should have no problem going back into Ableton Live, opening up your preferences and selecting Jack Router. The last problem I've heard is that sometimes you can't hear the output of your Ableton Live even though you have everything set up correctly. You see the meters moving, OBS looks good, you're just not sure why. The thing you want to check first is to make sure that if you right click on your little sound icon here and click open sound settings, this gets you into the window sound settings, that your output device is actually set to um, your audio interface that you're using. For me it's this DigiDesign Mbox Pro 1 2. Then from there you want to Make sure that in uh, QJack CTL in the patch bay that we had opened up earlier where it says connect, that Ableton Live 9 is connected to system. Okay, that wraps it up for problems that people have had going through the tutorial that I posted last week. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away. Thanks.